welcome back to another video. So, today we'll be looking at craftable houses. Now, this one I'm quite interested in because, one, I'm lazy. Two, I'm not very good at building. Three, I'm lazy. Yeah, yeah but, um, yeah, this does this seem interesting. I mean, if I've got some good, good houses in here. Because, you know, not everybody's good at building a house, um, and especially if it's just like a decorative house, like if you're building like a village and you just like want some decorative de decorative houses or something, uh, or just like houses for the villagers to live in that don't need to be like super detailed and all that, then this might be good. This... I don't know if you do cut, um... Say that this is a house on add on the base that you know uh, for just like building, but if you do, then it's the first I don't know. I've looked at that is pretty much just for building. So guidebook two and guidebook one. Don't know why I need two guidebooks, but hey, let's find out. Welcome to craftable houses. This amazing add on offers forty five. Wow, well, that's a lot. Forty five different types of houses. E Excuse me, each with its own uni unique style and design. Yeah, excuse me, with the ability to be crafted at the workbench, these houses can be placed anywhere in your world, allowing you to create your perfect home and customize your environment as you desire. White houses, white, small, small house in a modern style and a minimalist design with a dining room and a master bedroom on the upper floor. Size, style, colour, recipe, coal block, black concrete, white dye, birch stairs and the white concrete. It's not super expensive. I'm not going to bother crafting all of these, and you can see. So if I put in, if I do that, I put in house. Yeah, so that's modern house, medium two, sci-fi. So yeah, you'll be able to see all the crafting recipes. I'm just going to give myself, um, and we'll quick. I messed up game mode one. There was a, and it doesn't remember. Modern house, white, small. So if I put in here, modern. Okay, uh, oh, spawn, modern house, white, small. So I believe this is the one it's talking about. Oh, didn't like me when I moved that, so. Uh, I'm not going to build them here because uh, it's going to make this area real messy real quick. So let's go over here. Oh, there's a nice area over there that I can spawn these in. So, oh. uh, I'll try spawning the next one in in survival because it teleports me up. Oh, yeah, this looks real nice. Uh, how do I get in? Oh yeah, door there. Okay. Yeah. Got some nice decorations. End rods are always nice. Ah. There's a... Uh, there's a bookshelf back there. Um, yeah, very nice. I think there's a little chest, and a crafting table, and beds. There we go. 
yeah, this is pretty cool. Pull the other house. Don't know where those chiseled bookshelves are facing this way. And there's nothing there. Uh, like, u like uber expensive here, like uh, end ones are a little bit expensive because you have to go to the end. Uh, hanging trap doors are a little bit expensive and the chains are a bit expensive and I'm lagging really badly still. So, not really bad. so yeah, nothing too expensive so you don't have to worry about like uh, it being abused to get really expensive blocks. Now, how do you... Uh, can you choose how which direction these face? Hmm. The small. So there's white small two. Yeah, here we go small two. Let's get. Let me go in survival real quick. So I'm stood here. Oh, it moved me back. Yeah, so that house. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so the house did spawn facing the same direction. So I think they might all just face the same direction, which would be not super great because then it'll make it harder for it to like, uh, for you to fit into your base if they all only face one direction. This is cool. Uh, oh, you can go up here. Yep. Yeah. Got chest and bed. Yeah, this is just like a slightly bigger house. <laughs> slightly bigger one house. Oh, it actually, kind of makes sense having the, the smokers as a um, like oven and the, the ah stove and all that. Right, next up is medium. Medium two, small two, small, medium, oh, medium. Let's place this over here. Yeah, by the looks of it, they all are going to just be facing the same direction. I should probably delete this before I accidentally place it down. Oh, wait. Oh, this one comes with bees. Why not? There we go. Yeah. Neat. Oh, and there's a bee in the house. Yeah, because that's supposed to be like a garage door. They made it then, but it, was, it came with bees. I don't think there were supposed to be bees in it. Oh, that's funny. An infinite supply of bees, you know? Well, infinite, but yeah. Oh, there's one up here. And that one's trying to gain. And you got bathroom. Yeah, these are these are some pretty good looking uh builds. There's no beds in this one though. You could just replace that with a bed. Don't know why that it has that instead of a bed. Oh that one did have a target block. Yeah, not. Again, yeah, not really using that any many expensive blocks. Like the most expensive ones, I like just like the iron, iron stuff. Yeah, 
and this again works as iron, black concrete, white dye, bitch, stairs, white concrete. Well, this one's using a gold block instead of iron. So medium two. Medium. Medium two. Alright, uh, how am I going to, ah, uh, here we go. Yeah. This is like it's got an office in the garage. I've never heard of anybody having an office in the garage before. Yeah, no beds, just this thing. Yeah. I actually prefer the other two to this one. This one seems smaller than the other two, to be honest. Right, oh, there we go. It doesn't really clear the area very well either. Yeah, this one looks smaller than the other two. What? I'm, yeah, I think I'm, just, I'm not going to go look through all of them. I'm going to leave some for you to like look at. Uh, look, what's this guidebook 2 about? Oh. Uh, wiki? Oh. Uh, so you got yeah, Medieval. Oriental, sci-fi. So let's just take a look at the different some of the different houses real quick. So house. So let's take a look at the medium sci-fi house. Let's take a look at this. Let's have a look at this one. This one didn't really fill in the floor. The door's facing this way and they don't close. Actually, I think they are like closed, but. Um, oh. They close in a way that makes them look open. Yeah, I'm not really a, uh, I don't really know a lot about sci-fi builds. I don't know if this looks good or not. Just makes me want to press every button in sight. Oh, and one of the banners fell off. Something. Yeah. I think it was supposed to be there. Yeah. It does look cool. Just don't know if it looks particularly good. Eh, I don't think it's really my kind of style. To be honest. Uh, well, well, so we've seen the modern houses. Let's have a look at the Oriental. Uh, Oriental 2, why not? Place that over here. Oh, this one's quite big. Yeah. Don't know why you've got... Oh, is this supposed to be like a prayer? Uh, Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it does look cool. Uh, you know, it's supposed to walk. Uh, before I forget, there's a little area over here. Ah, another fake bed. I don't know what, what their obsession with these fake beds are. And another fake bed over here. Wait, why not just use a cyan bed? I don't know. Oh, 
Are they? Oh yeah, zombie heads. Neat. Ah, itchy nose. Yeah. What else do we have? Uh, medieval house. Why not? Spawn it over here. Oh, this one spawn bit on the Uh, where's the door? Where's the door? 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 Ah, here it is. You got like a little seating here, yeah? Look at that cold in that, you can... That. Like, medieval times you probably like, uh... You use that to make super stew. And got books. Kill the chicken. Got some more stuff. Can you go up? No, uh, there's not really anything up here. Got some bowels here. I didn't know this before. Oh, and it's got uh, some random lectins up here. I don't know why there's just two doors here with them. Like, maybe what I would do is I would um, get the trap doors. Hold on. There, like that. And there we go. We can put them on the inside. I actually like that. Actually, I think uh, looks better like this. Looks a bit more three D. Anyway, what else do we have here? Uh, let's let's have a look at the big green modern house. Also, I want to know what happens if I spawn one underwater. But why is it so laggy? I don't know why my Minecraft's lagging so much today. I wasn't even lagging earlier today, it's just in this world. It just spawns on top of the water. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it reminds me of me for this. Uh, color scheme. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Now let's take a look at another one of the, uh... Let's see, there's modern pink, modern, 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 oriental, modern... Evil sci-fi. I think that's all. Well, not all of them showing up, but I think um, all of the st different styles. Let's take a look at this one. Let's place this one here. Oh, this one's cool. Yeah, and you can take these and just like uh, alter them any way you like. But if you don't like something about it, you could just take it and change it up a bit. Yeah, there are some good builds in this. Uh, I think it was one of the cheaper ones. I can't remember how much it was, so I'm not gonna. I know I can't. Another fake bed. Oh, why can't they just put real beds in? Um. I feel like it is kind of like lim a bit limited use for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, the but you can't rotate the buildings. They're all they're all always going to be facing in you know whatever direction they're facing now. So this one's always going to have the door facing uh, 
this way as well as them. So I would think it would be good if you could like um craft the house, then the default would be face would be like um and it would be say only like facing uh north if like the door door of it was facing north, then you know oh if I spawn this in it's facing north then uh, you should be able to like craft it in a crafting table or just in your inventory to craft it to facing in to in another direction. So I uh, either by just like uh, having it rotate through them. So you put it in your crafting inventory, it would rotate once. So that if it was north, it would rotate to like uh, west, and then you put it in, and it was south, and then put it in again, it would be east or you could do it so that if you're in a crafting table, hold on. So that if you're in a crafting table, you would put it in these four here for like north, south, east, yeah, east and west. I've got east and west mixed up here, yeah. Yeah, north, south, east, west. Um But uh if that's possible, I think it would be possible. At least I assume so. Um, and also, it's kind of like limit. Well, not really that limited use because uh, if you if you're building these styles and you like need just uh, some filler buildings in that style, this would be certainly be a good way you to um, you know just gain some filler buildings. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, yeah, pretty cool, but other than that, just like, uh, automatically getting some filler buildings, like, they're not really very, like, um, they're like, some of them do have, like, beds and that, you know, actual beds and that is cool, but if you want to, like, live in one of these, it'd be a bit difficult, because, like, you, without, like, changing it much, because you'd have to, like, you, you could probably, like, make this a storage room. For like this one at least and then you have like upstairs bedroom obviously um so i feel like these are more uh form over function they look nice and know that you could definitely uh get them uh you know uh spot them around your base and that you know all that but um not super Oh, it wiped out the spear of water. Made some did, I think. But yeah, yeah, but if you like what you've seen, obviously you can, uh, you know, look how much it costs and uh, and then judge for yourself whether or not you think it's worth your money. But in my opinion, yeah, it's all right. Uh, I, if, I, if I remember correctly, and it was one of the cheap ones, I think it was only like a couple of quid. And yeah, I can definitely see why you'd want this, especially if you're like uh, running a well, and then you can just like put it on the well, and then if like to save people time, just so they don't have to build everything. Or if you oh, or if you are making a map, I can see these being handy because obviously it saves you time building. But yeah, I'd like um. I would like um you know to be again to be able to rotate them. Maybe a bit wider variety because you've only got four different styles and you've got like you got small, medium and large uh in those and even then you don't what they light I don't know what lighter means. Small, small, green, medium, white, white, right, big uh, you're big. So yeah, you have like but it would be nice. Uh, there are a bunch of like different uh, build styles you could add. So I can I don't I can definitely see this being expanded in the future with like more buildings, more variety of buildings, and all that. Like um, maybe a you know cottage, you know maybe have some themes so like a castle or a uh, witch hut or uh, I don't know or like some. Uh, some, some like uh, houses for villagers, like uh, you know, for like specific professions of villagers. So like you could have a cartographer house, you could have a um, a uh, what you call it, a like um, 
a, a uh, you know, librarian house, you could have a stonemason house, uh, um, and stuff like that. Um, or just like a plain house and you could have like a library instead of, um, and, you know, I just think uh, it could, you know, there's definitely room to expand, expand it, uh, so that would be cool. And obviously if you're uh, interested in, if it gets updated, I'll uh, either ha have an update video on the channel or I'll, um, or I'll just like uh, be in like a pinned comment of like, hey, this is what's updated. Um, updated uh, if it's just like not really worth making an entire video around. But there are some cool buildings and I'm not just going to go through each and every one because that would be a waste of my time and your time. Because uh, it, you know, if you, you, may, you get a good idea, this is a good variety of things. You've got the modern, you've got sci-fi, you've got the oriental, you've got a, a couple of medieval, so you've got a good idea of what these buildings look like and uh, whether you like them or not. So, yeah, and also you do need to clear a bit of an area for them. But it's probably fine because they'll probably be able to tell the difference between like a tree and another building. Uh, something else that would be actually be cool I just thought of is if you Hold on. You, yeah, why is Minecraft lagging? I might need to restart Minecraft. If you get, like get a building and you're holding it, it would be cool if there was like a, uh, if it like showed you where it would be built. So like if I hovered it on the ground here, it would be, it would like come up in like highlighted squares of where, you know, what would get overridden. And then you could like place it down, and then you'd have a good idea of where everything would go. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think I have, a, I have a, anything other than that to say. Pretty cool add-on, again you'll... Yeah! How much lag? What? I don't know what's causing on this lag. Maybe I need to delete some of the add-ons I've downloaded. I'm not going to be using. But yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this, for some reason, very laggy video. Hope to see you guys in the next video that's hopefully not as laggy, and bye-bye.